Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so super much for joining me for another video. If this is your first time here, pretty please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section because I love hearing from you guys. Also, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would mean the absolute world to me, you guys. So today, <laughs> we have another Enel Couture haul, guys. If you want to see what I have in these packages, you're going to have to keep watching. Alrighty, you guys. So first off, I just want to say how much I have missed you guys. You have no idea. I have been flooded in my DMs with subscribers and followers asking how I am, wanting to make sure that I'm doing okay. And you guys, it brought me to tears. I love you all so, 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 so much. You have absolutely no idea. Um, I will have an announcement for you guys shortly, but, um, you're going to have to stay tuned for that for an upcoming video, guys. I have just missed you so much. I haven't been feeling very well. So um, I just want to say I appreciate you all for the well wishes. And I am so happy that you joining me for another video. So let's get into this, guys. So this is my Black Friday order here. I did open it. As you guys know, you have, I think it's four days to make sure that you have everything correct in your package and um, so that you can get it fixed if not. So I always kind of take a peek um, unless I'm filming the same day. And I, like I said, I haven't been feeling all that great. So I did open this up to check to make sure everything was there. I did end up missing one item. So I reached out to Max and his team and I said, thank you guys first of all for this great black friday deal thank you for shipping out my stuff so super quickly um i believe it was the um the limited edition shiny gels that i had ordered and i received two of them and a wonder gel by accident so i emailed them like i said super kind email um Obviously, I hashtagged it Pink Army because I love the Pink Army. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> but uh, they reached out literally right away. Like, I mean, within minutes, I got an email back saying, oh, I'm so sorry. Keep the Wonder Gel for the inconvenience and we will ship that right out, which they did. It did take a couple days longer, but it was not, you know, Couture's fault. It was actually um, the UPS. I actually, you know, they had it stuck in Springfield somewhere, which is a few towns over from me, if you guys know where Springfield, Mass is. But yeah, let's get into this guys thank you max for sending that out super quickly i i really do appreciate him stepping up all of his customer service and his shipping times you guys oh my goodness so let's give you guys a sneak peek that's it no more no, i'm just kidding <laughs> let's get into it guys so the first thing that i see and guys i am pumped about this i really really am move this back this is the remover magic and of course i forgot scissors today because i'm just super smart like that <laughs> um real quick i am filming in a different area today because my squirrels oh my goodness they are refusing to let me film any kind of video <laughs> they're so loud throwing their bowls around in the cage and stuff like that so let me see if i can use a pen because I don't have scissors so I'm going to try to stab it with a pen and you guys don't want to see me do that <laughs> all right so we're gonna get in here you guys I want to give it the sniff test and see kind of what all it smells like um I haven't seen uh, many reviews on this stuff I've seen I believe one actually um and it looked to work pretty good look at what I'm doing guys <laughs> totally forgot scissors <clears throat> we might end up having to get some but I'm going to do the best I can. I cannot believe I went to open an email to tour package without scissors. <laughs> so this is what we have, guys. It's a super, super duper cute bottle. You guys know how much I love email Couture's packaging and their products in general. So I had to, had to pick this up. This is a, let's see. Oh, it doesn't have the bottle size. Interesting. So as you can see, it's got kind of an interesting color to it. I would, ex I don't know. I, I just kind of assumed it was going to be clear, <laughs> but let's take a peek. Oh, geez. I can't get her open. Oh, geez, Louise. Oh, I really can't get it open. You guys. Oh no. I don't know if it's cause like I'm a weak little baby woman or if it's like super duper tight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, I really can't get it. So maybe this will have to be like a separate video. 
where I try it out because geez, some crow. Oh, I got it. Yay. <laughs> oh my God. I'm such a dork, but I did get it. You guys. So we're going to kind of take a peek. Ooh, it kind of looks like it might've crystallized a little bit. So I don't know. I think mine might have, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Can you guys see that? That's interesting. I don't really know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's supposed to be this color. I don't know if it's supposed to have this consistency. That's kind of weird, but I will definitely kind of look into that. Maybe ask um, the girl that I watched her video. I can't remember who it was <laughs> offhand, but maybe I can reach out to her, um, find out if it, you know, if it looks the same as this. Unfortunately, my four days are up and I don't really want to email them again for, you know, a $5 little item. So I probably will just, if it's not correct, I'll just eat it and order another one. No big deal because I love Max and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure he would have no problem, you know, sending a new one out, but I don't want to bother him again. I really don't. <laughs> but anyways, so let's do the smell test just to see. So it kind of smells like I don't even know, rubber a little bit. It kind of smells a little bit like rubber to me, like a real faint smell of rubber. Not too bad, nothing too crazy. Says it breaks down the gel in two to three minutes. Non-damaging, no acetone wrap, three in one remove. Oh, it does say four ounces. Nice, so four fluid ounces down there on the bottom it says. Sorry guys, if I'm a little rusty, I haven't done a video in, you know, 11 days probably, or no, probably more than that, but. We are back on track, ladies. I promise you. So the next thing I see right on top of this package is a, another pink diamonds brush. I picked up another one of these because I just love the packaging. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't tested it out yet because I've been so, literally so ill. <laughs> um, but... I do want to kind of give you guys an up close and personal look and I will be doing some swatch videos. I'm, I'm going to be giving you guys a video every day for the next few days before I go back to work. So I do want to kind of test these out for you guys in a video. We'll do some swatches of the couple acrylics I ordered today from them. Uh, yeah, and we'll just kind of see how these brushes hold up. I've actually never heard anything bad about these brushes. I think the only negative thing I have ever heard about his brushes was that um, one of the bristles was bent um, on one lady's video. And um, I'm sure that could have happened a million and one ways during packaging and shipping. But so there's that. I am super pumped to try out these brushes, guys. I think I have three of these brushes and I have one other one and then the happy gel brush. So yes. So the next thing we have, you guys, is one of his acrylics. I did order, I believe, two acrylics this time. So we're gonna pop this sucker open. We all know how safely he wraps up his stuff, you guys. And I know it kind of bothers some people, but to me, it really just shows that he cares, that he doesn't want your stuff to spill on you. He doesn't want it to break or anything like that. And I really do appreciate that. So I believe this one cost me around $15. This is called uh, Makeup Pink. I'm not sure how to separate them, to be honest with you. He doesn't usually tell you. And of course, I left my invoice. So <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what where it went, but I did get the Makeup Pink. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, I can't remember. The kitty pink, maybe? Something like that. So I will definitely look that up and put it down below in the description box for you guys. And of course, we will be swatching these in another video. So make sure that you turn on those post notifications, ladies. <laughs> and make sure that you subscribed if you haven't. We, you guys, real quick, I cannot believe that you guys have gotten me to almost 7 hundred subscribers. I just, just, just did my 500 subscriber giveaway. Shout out to those girls. I love you so much. They have been so understanding and patient with me since I've been so sick. I absolutely love you too. Um, but anyways, so let's get into the color. This one did not leak at all. Not a single tiny bit, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I love that. I really, really love these chars as well as you guys. I really absolutely do. So if you can take a peek, it kind of to you guys is going to look just kind of white and clear. But to me, it looks almost like a nude. And I remember that it has sparkles in it. I don't think you're going to pick up the shimmer. But you guys, I promise I will swatch this for you. And I am so pumped to try these because these two were just so cute on his website. Ugh, I could not. Oh, I didn't put my little lid cover back in. 
But you guys, I, I really do like his acrylics. I know some people say they're hit or miss. I have only received um, really just high quality acrylic from him. So I absolutely cannot complain. So let's get back into this box. I'm getting a little warm, guys. <laughs> so, okay, so the next thing I have, I did open to make sure obviously that they were here. I did order the funnel bit and the laser cuticle bit. So let's take a peek. I like how he puts them in little separate packages so that you don't, you know, they don't get lost or anything like that. Don't mind the, the wall being a little um, dirty looking. <laughs> my stepdaughter's room. Um, like I said, my squirrels were misbehaving today, so someone needs to clean their wall. <laughs> you guys tell her, not me. <laughs> okay, so this one is the funnel bit. I really like how he has the little Enel Couture logo right here. The address, enelcouture.com. Holla. <laughs> oh, I'm in a mood, guys. I have just missed you so much, and I'm so excited to be doing a video for you guys today. So this is the funnel bit. So I believe this one is kind of like a five-in-one, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know down below, guys. It's supposed to not be able to cut you either, which is nice. I do like that. Um, a lot of my bits I've noticed are kind of skipping a little bit when you are filing. And I believe obviously that's probably because they're dull, which is kind of funny because my panna bits, I don't use all that often because like I said, I've been working like crazy and I haven't felt very well. So, um, I'm not really sure why they're so dull, but they are. I do have another cuticle bit I had showed you guys in, oh, a long time ago. It's one that I had gotten, um, from the description box of Long Hair Pretty Nails, one of her videos, it was one that she used a lot and I got that one. Unfortunately, lately it's been a little bit iffy as well. So I did wanna try out the laser cuticle bit. As you can see, it's got a very, very fine point to it and these are supposed to be great for like snatching up your one, two, three, go nails. Um, yeah, just snatching up that cuticle area as Max likes to say. So I am pumped to try these guys out. I will absolutely let you know how they work out. I do have two other bits from him that I absolutely adore. So I'm hoping those will be the same. So the next thing we have is the shiny gel set. So here is the two that I ended up getting. And this is going to be the Wonder Gel. As you can see, very easy to um, mix up, same packaging, um, same bottle, that kind of thing. So I absolutely understand how this would happen when you're trying to ship out a bunch of orders ASAP, like Max has been trying to do for us. Always looking out for the girls. <laughs> but let's get into this. So like I said, I emailed them and I am not joking you within minutes. I got a response from them. They were so super kind. Thanked me for supporting Enel Couture com and told me yeah just keep the wonder gel for the mistake um and thank you so much for your support uh and i will send that right out literally they had sent it out before they even answered me <laughs> so i got a shipping confirmation and an email from them just saying yeah we shipped that right out for you which they absolutely did that's the first time i've had to call them about any kind of order mistake or, or what have you and they handled it wonderfully handled it very quick and I, I mean, I cannot complain. I cannot ask for anything more. So this actually, I just want to let you guys know my Black Friday order, ugh, it, it came in like what, three days, something like that. And that was a huge sale. I'm sure he had a lot of people ordering. So I really just want Max to know. I absolutely appreciate him stepping it up. So, and I appreciate the free wonder gel that he sent. Um, yeah, so these are the three. Let's just get them opened up so that I can show you the inside and what they look like. Because, of course, you guys want to see, right? Oh, my God, I've missed you guys. <laughs> like, just sitting here talking to you guys. Oh, it's just, it makes me happy. I have a big smile on my face. And I can't wait to start getting um, some notifications from my ladies. You know, just chatting about the video and what they thought of it. Oh, I've always been afraid I was going to do that. So, um, whenever I try to pull out the bottle, I'm always afraid the little crown's going to fall off. And this is actually the first time that it's ever happened to me. <laughs> so, I'm going to hopefully unwrap that and see if I can put it back on. If not, no big deal. I am not going to cry about it. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I can't get the crown part out. <laughs> Oh, guys, I'm so excited for this package. I really am. The cool thing about this little crown, though, is that I believe you can kind of tighten it to the top just with a little bit of pliers or something like that. So it definitely will go right back on. 
just a little spinny. Tighten it up, put a little drop of nail glue in there or something, and we will be good to go. So this is the first one, and this one is the pink. This is the one I was kind of super excited about. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like rainbowish. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Let's give her a little stir. Look at that, y'all. You can see it's got some like iridescent purpley pink, like, oops, sorry, silver, like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Super pretty. So this is a top coat, basically shiny top coat with sparkles. So how can you go wrong with that? <laughs> so let's get on to the gold. I am super pumped. So yeah, I did go, um, did, I didn't go too crazy on Black Friday. I've been really trying really hard not to spend a bunch of money on nail stuff. So, <laughs> um, but I did pick up a Black Friday Young Nails mystery box that should be getting to me relatively soon, guys. So make sure that you, like I said, turn on those post notifications um, and make sure you stay tuned for that video. I... Oh, we won't even get into that. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have heard the controversy um, surrounding the Young Nails mystery boxes, but we won't get into that <laughs> right now anyways. I'm just trying not to get this crown. Like, this is how I always open it. I always start down here, and then I'm always left with the crown, like, haphazardly stuck in there, and I'm always nervous it's going to come off. Oh, I cannot believe I forgot scissors, you guys. Who the heck forgets scissors for an email to tour package? <laughs> who, who? Where do they do that at? Westfield, Massachusetts, apparently. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to hold the little crown piece and pull at the same time. Yay, gotcha. Okay, so this is the gold one, the gold shiny. Let's kind of stand that up to show you. Look how cute they look. Ah! <laughs> so let's give her a little bit of a shake because I know the other one was a little bit thick. Bit of a shake, guys, and we're going to show you a little sneak peek. Oh, my God. I really love these guys. I really, really do super duper pretty and i know he says that you can cap this with the wonder gel the rubber it's kind of like a rubber formula rubber base but oh my gosh so pretty you guys i'm gonna have to swatch these when i do my swatching for the acrylic i'm also going to swatch these um on some swatch sticks just to kind of you know give you guys an idea of what it should look like when you order because i'm sure a lot of you will oh boy so the funny thing is I was in one of Max's lives. I try to make every single live as you guys probably already know, but I was in there and um, apparently one of my subscribers was in there and she's like, oh my God, Max, I love Tabitha's videos. She is the reason why I'm always ordering from you guys. And oh my God, be still my beating heart. <laughs> Oh my God, it just made me so happy. And then another girl chimed in and said, oh my God, yes, I love her videos too. And I was just like, you guys, you're killing me. I love you. <laughs> no, but it really does. It, ugh. You know, when people kind of let you know that they're appreciating what you do as much as you appreciate doing it for them, ugh, it just makes you so happy. Shout out to you, girl. You probably know who you are. <laughs> All right. Also, I do want to shout out Christine Baker because she did send me a lovely message. I just saw it this morning. I didn't um, respond yet, but I promise you I'm about to. <laughs> but she was just saying, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. I want to make sure that you're okay. I wish I could shout out every single subscriber who did that for me while I was gone. But, oh, you guys, <laughs> it just shows me how much, how much, like, you guys mean to me. <laughs> You know, each and every single one of you. So, trying to get this big bad boy out of here. And this one, for some reason, was wrapped super well. So, you guys want to see me struggle? <laughs> this is how I've been opening these. And I'm just drawing all of everything. Hmm. This one does not want to open, you guys. I'm so sorry about all the wrapping noise. Ugh. <laughs> I can't. I can't get it, guys. It's got tape right around the edge. <laughs> so upsetting. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys. So, real quick, I was 
I actually subscribed to BoxyCharm recently, real recently actually. I got the November base box and I was curious to see if you guys would be interested in seeing me unbox my BoxyCharm. Even though this is a nail channel, I feel like BoxyCharm can kind of fit in there somehow. Let me know down below if you guys would be interested in that, seeing me unbox my add-ons, that kind of thing. Let me know down below in the description box because I would love to share that with you guys. Alrighty, so this is the final limited edition shiny and this is the blue and ah this one's got some bigger glitters in it can you guys see that look at the bigger spots of glitter this one's got some gold this one's got some blue obviously it's got like these ah oh, sorry i keep going out of frame it's got like this beautiful beautiful iridescent like blue purple like ah oh, silver just gorgeous gorgeous so excited, you guys. I've wanted these literally since my first order with Enel Couture, but I don't know. I just couldn't get myself to do it, and finally, I just did it. <laughs> so here we are, but let's open up this Wonder Gel, guys, just because. I mean, I have a hundred, probably six of these, but we will open this up. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mentioned in my email to them how much I love the wonder gel as well <laughs> not to say i don't love that wonder gel because oh my goodness i do it's probably one of my favorite top coats maybe my favorite top coat to be honest with you oh, i hate the color of this wall i really do <laughs> i know my daughter's been begging uh, my boyfriend to paint her room and he works so much so it hasn't they haven't gotten around to it yet but i promise guys she's gonna have her room painted <laughs> we'll have this yellow color forever but I can't get into this Wonder Gel for the absolute life of me, guys. This is the last time I forget scissors for an Enel Couture video. I can tell you that. All right. You better not take my crown. You better not do that. All right. One more stab wound and we should be good. <laughs> I don't know about this. This crown might just be coming off because I'm having a hard time, girls. <laughs> you know what? I'm probably just going to wait and leave this on if I can't get it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Isn't that really why we watch these videos from Enel to Couture to watch everybody struggle <laughs> to get them open? Okay, there we go. So this is the Wonder Gel that he sent me. Um, obviously, it was because they probably, I don't know, they just... They look so similar, <laughs> you know what I mean? They say, you know, they're pretty much the same style bottles. But this is the set. Um, $30, I believe, for the set of three, $29.99. Very good deal, you guys. So let's set these up. They're probably going to fall, so I don't know why I'm bothering trying to set them up like that, but we will. So the next thing we have is the other acrylic powder I told you guys about. I love this size. Like, I do like the little baby ones, but I really, really like this packaging so super much. Like, I really absolutely adore it. So, I feel like that's probably going to be the way I go with his acrylics from now on instead of the smaller ones, unless I buy one of the little kits to get the monomer. But I don't know, guys. I really, there's something about the 50 gram containers that are super cute. So, this one does have the name Cherry Pink. I thought I got the Kitty Pink, but I guess I decided to go with the Cherry Pink. So we will open her up and give you guys a little sneak peek just to see if this is something you guys would be interested in. So this one leaked a tiny bit, nothing too crazy. You know, acrylic spills, that's kind of what happens in shipping. I'm not going to hold it against anybody. So I'm just going to try to open this so that I can tr off camera so I can try to save whatever's in the cap. Ooh. Okay, so now we're just going to dump this right in oh so this one's really full and that's probably why it leaked the way it did and i will not complain about a full container of acrylic <laughs> i kind of secretly hate when people complain about it being so full that it spilled because i'm like you're you're spilling extra product that he probably wasn't supposed to give you because i'm sure he weighs them um and stuff like that so all companies you know when they fill it really full be happy ladies <laughs> appreciate that extra bit of acrylic even if it does end up in the lid and you have to dump it in <laughs> But this is what she looks like, guys. Super cute. I don't know if you guys are going to pick up. Oh, you are. Okay, so all those little pink little sparkles. I cannot, you guys. I absolutely cannot. Hopefully, I'm not talking too much for you guys. I just have missed you so much. I knew this was going to be a talking video because I've just 
miss you all so much. So, so that one was the cherry pink. Remember, I will be swatching these for you guys in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. So let's see. The next thing that I have is back in there. Remember, guys, in my last Enoch Couture haul, if you haven't seen it, check it out after this one. But I did tell you guys I had ordered their little pink candy dappin' dish and that I wish I had gotten two of them. Well, the Black Friday sale was the perfect excuse to get the second one. Um, I wanted to have one for powder and one for monomer. Oops, hold on, let me just open this real quick. I really like that he wraps this so good because if anything's going to break, it's going to be the glass jar. <laughs> All right. So. Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Ugh. Couple more stab wounds, guys, and we should be good. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, we're not there yet. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I hate when I do this to you guys with the sound. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I did order another one of these little glass Dappen dish. I love them, they're so cute. And a lot of the Dappen dishes I had ordered in the beginning when I wasn't as good at looking at the dimensions, <laughs> um, I would buy thinking it would be perfect for powder and it was always either too big or too small and this one is just ugh, perfect you know so i do want to take her out and give you guys a peek oops so this is the second one i own and i just absolutely love them i really do oh, i'm leaving that down <laughs> okay so just it's it's just beautiful it's the perfect perfect size for powder it really is throw some clear powder in there you guys keep it on your desk and you're good to go and you don't have to keep dragging out um the clear acrylic every time super duper cute love love that so our last two items ladies almost done <laughs> all right so i did pick up some mini stiletto sculpture full cover nail tips and I also did pick up which I'm wearing um the sport length I did <laughs> them about three days ago when I was having a good day where I wasn't not feeling good and then I all went to hell <laughs> excuse my language so um I haven't painted them yet but just for like a length option I did trim them a bit so I I know they look kind of crazy right now but Please, guys, understand I don't feel well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but so lengthwise, I will show you what they look like originally before I cut them down. I really, really like these ones, you guys. I absolutely will probably be ordering more of these because I just can't wear long nails at work. And this is just such a simpler, quicker option, especially if you're, you know, not feeling up to doing your nails the, you know, it's the right way, <laughs> the real way. But um, so this is how they normally would be, as you can tell the difference over my nail. So I cut them down a pretty decent amount. They are still pretty um, short, but still a little bit longer than what I would normally want to wear. But um, yeah, these definitely are sturdy, you guys. I don't feel like I had to, like I don't have anything on these and they haven't broken, lifted or anything like that. So I am pretty impressed with that. The cuticle area is nice and flexible like we like. So I'm definitely happy about these ones and I will be repeat ordering these. All right, and the last option, like I said, was the uh, mini sculpture stiletto. I was hoping that these would be a bit wider because as you can see, I kind of have like fat mama thumbs, <laughs> I guess you would call them. So they're pretty wide compared to normal people's. I know my nails look dirty right now, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. Um, yes, but I do like these ones. They're just a little bit too um, slim for my big mama nails. So these are probably going to be have to, have to be used on someone else, unfortunately. But that's okay, guys. Not a big deal. I know how hard it is to get full cover tips that will fit everybody. But oh my gosh, I wanted these to work so bad because look at how cute they are. Uh, I keep going out of frame, guys. I'm sorry. I'm rusty. <laughs> but um, so this is the size two. If they had a double zero in this one, I think I would be golden. Unfortunately, they don't, which makes me super sad. <laughs> but let me see if I can find you the zero. 
and I know it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to put it over my thumbnail now and have you really see, but like because I have another full cover tip on. Oh, I'm so sad that these didn't work for me though because they, the shape is so cute. I've been seeing so many girls with like a stiletto, like almond kind of short nail and oh my God, I love them. I want them for myself. <laughs> but as you can see, they fit, but then they don't. Like they don't fit sidewall to sidewall. As you can see, definitely with this nail off, obviously you'd be able to see better, but definitely would be too small for my wide mama nails. <sighs> They're just so cute and I'm so jealous of skinny, skinny nailed little women. <laughs> I feel like the rest of my nails are all right, but I feel like my thumbs, they just don't want to play with certain full cover nail tips. They really don't. I know I had gotten this sculpted from Opre and oh my gosh, those didn't fit my wide thumbs either. So <laughs> let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have this issue. Um, do you guys have wide, like big fat mama nail beds or do you have like the skinny, petite, sweet looking little nail beds? <laughs> let me know down below, guys. I just wanna say thank you, thank you for joining me for another video, you guys. As you know, I love you all so, so, so super much. I hope that you will join me for my next video. Remember, let me know down below if you wanna see my BoxyCharm unboxing. I would love to share that with you guys. Thank you, thank you for all the well wishes. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye ladies.